Hey there, podcast enthusiasts. Are you ready to add a little sparkle to your day? If you're loving the insightful conversations and captivating stories on Mirror Talk Podcast, here's a friendly nudge to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on the empowering messages and thought-provoking discussions we bring to your ears. But wait, there's more. We're all about spreading positivity and inspiration, and you can be a part of it too. How? By sharing the love with your friends and family. Share this episode with your loved ones, and let's create a ripple effect of empowerment and growth together. And hey, if you've been enjoying what you hear, why not take a moment to leave us a glowing five-star review? Your feedback fuels our passion to keep delivering content that resonates with you. So hit that subscribe button, share the love, and leave us a review. Let's keep the conversation going and spread the Mirror Talk magic far and wide. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, your support means the world to us. In this episode, we'll be traveling on a direct path to your life purpose. Helping us with this is the divine purpose guy himself is the author of the book titled seven levels of truth and also a book titled clarity has no story welcome to the show bill how are you doing i'm doing great thank you very much for having me today toby i appreciate it thank you so much for joining me on this episode for a soulful conversation i'm looking forward to learning so much about life purpose from you about um you know divine purpose from you basically and also i hope mm -hmm. we could look into the seven levels of truth also in this conversation mm -hmm. but before we, we we dive into all of that um while preparing for this conversation i've read and i got to understand that um you bought your first business at age 25 and you had mm -hmm. great success with it but you were not able to find happiness so is it possible for you to share this story with us yeah it's uh you know i <clears throat> basically became very successful on my own business. I sold it before I was 30 uh, and we made a move across the country um, and got into other businesses. But I was just never satisfied. I could never keep happiness. I couldn't maintain my success. Uh, you know, I just <clears throat> literally, uh, by the age of roughly 40, became miserable. I was just absolutely miserable. And I finally just got sick of the misery and the chaos and the confusion. Uh, I had to go find out why. And so nearly a little over 30 years ago, I walked away from my life to really find the source of my misery, what was causing my misery, right? Mm -hmm. um, success was great, but everybody knows that money or, if you don't know, money does not buy happiness. I can guarantee you yeah. that. That's true. That's very true. And that's why we are, we, are, we want to talk with you today, you know, about, you know, life purpose, not just having success, mm -hmm. but also fulfilling our life purpose. But before we, we, we go into further questions about purpose, I would just like to know from your experience, you know, you know, after being successful, buying your first business at 25 and feeling miserable even before the age of 40. Um, how would you define happiness? Um, happiness is a, happiness is actually elusive. Hmm. In the universe, there are seven laws that run the universe. And one of those laws is called the law of polarity or duality. And what this law says is in the universe, there's two of everything. So everybody's seen the yin-yang symbol, the black and white round circle. That's the, that's the picture of duality. So with duality, when you look at temperature, everything in the universe has duality. So if you look at temperature, there's hot and cold, right? There's mm -hmm. two of everything, minerals, plants, there's duality in everything in the universe. There's male, female, go on and on. So the reason I went that direction when you asked that question is 
when you have happiness, you have to have sadness. Mm. It has to balance out. Everything in the universe balances out. That's karma. Yeah. So happiness is misunderstood and very elusive. What one is really looking for is a sense of fulfillment and contentment. Mm -hmm. When you have fulfillment with a sense of purpose in your life, then you really, you really have something. You really have a reason to get up. You have a reason to give. You have a reason to participate. And you have a reason to live at a very, very um, high level of connection with everything in the universe. Does that make sense? To you yeah yes it does i mean we need a, a, you know that sense of fulfillment and contentment and having that purpose in life helps us to wake up every morning knowing that yes i have a new day a new opportunity to actually pursue something and and mm -hmm. have, a, have, a, have a reason to to be alive basically or to be living and have a you know something to 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 give me fulfillment <laughs> so i think that brings happiness in some ways that gives our life meaning in some ways Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yes. it's really all that is, you, you know, uh, look, at I've studied this. I found the answer. I've been researching and doing this over 30 years. I've been working with clients, executives, business owners, clients from all around the world for over 15 years. And mm -hmm. when I work with a client, I give a 100 percent money back guarantee on success. Mm -hmm. Let me repeat that a 100% money guarantee on success. And the reason I do that is not because I'm so good, okay? The reason I do that is when I work with people, they either understand the concepts I teach or they're in resistance to them. And if they're in resistance to them, I just give them back their money because I, I like I'm not here to convince anybody. Mm -hmm. People I'm I'm here when people really get it, they, they just take off their life changes so fast and off they go into uh, a, a very exciting life. Mm -hmm. People don't understand purpose. They com they're completely confused about our purpose on earth. And mm -hmm. I can prove this to anyone, but your life purpose isn't what you do. Let me repeat this. Your life purpose is not what you do in life. Your life, What's purpose, life purpose. Your life purpose is the energy behind everything you do. Mm. Let me repeat that. Your life purpose is the energy behind everything you do. Think about it for a second. I have people come to me and get into my coaching programs. They come to me because they have money trouble, they have relationship problems, they have this, they have that, they have that, whatever it may be. They come to me because things are not good in their world. The first thing I explain to them, Toby, is this. You did not come to me. You think you came to me because of the results you're getting in life. Your life is not one where it's, you're, you're struggling. Mm. And they all go, yeah, that's why I came to you. And then I tell them, no, it isn't why you came to me. The reason you came to me is how you feel about that. Let me repeat that. It isn't that you're in a lousy relationship. It's how it makes you feel. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So when you learn about your feelings, and your energy and how to put your authentic energy behind everything you do it has nothing it has nothing to do what's going on in the physical world like the physical world as we see it you know even now you and i are here we're seeing each other but we aren't here for the purpose of enhancing how we look we're here to share information that will allow people to live a better life and feel better a soulful life you agree with that yeah i do agree with that yeah mm -hmm. so i take people on a very interesting journey 
and teach them about their energy and how to work with their energy, how to work with how they feel, how to work with the stories they have inside them that don't support them. There's, we have stories that make us feel lousy. You can't have an emotion. You can't feel something without a story. Mm. It isn't possible. Yeah. So, Bill, do you so, mean I also find the? You mean I also find you know our true life purpose? We have to then understand the energy behind everything that we do and um and try to figure that out. Or how do we find our true life purpose then? Well, we each come to Earth with seven different energies. Mm. We have. Are you familiar with chakras? Yeah, I've heard a lot about chakras. Yeah. Okay. So we have seven chakras. Those are energy centers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me back up for a second. We live in two different worlds. We live in our physical world, the world you're looking at, the room you're sitting in now, what you're looking in your physical environment around you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Part of that is of your physical environment is there's a computer screen and I'm on it. Right. Yes. That's our physical world. But the truth of the matter is, all good, all of our power, all of our potential is in the non-physical world. It's in, it's in nothingness. Hmm. It's that whole area of the, what I call just the non-physical. So that you can connect non-physically you can do meditations, you can do many things in the non-physical where I can, you know, we could do a meditation now in the non-physical. I could have you close your eyes and I could take you on a journey to some place and you would feel where we're at, but you'd be in the non-physical. You, you wouldn't be there, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for instance, I know you, you're in Central Europe. I'm actually in Hawaii right now. And yeah. <clears throat> So I could do a meditation and bring you over into Hawaii, right, into the waterfalls and the beauty, you know. I can take you there in the non-physical, and you would be able to feel it. Mm -hmm. So it's understanding more about that and that our power and potential is in the non-physical. So the first thing we can agree on is this, is energy is all that matters. What's going on in the physical part of your life doesn't matter. It's just the energy. And here's proof of that. The day you die, your energy leaves. But your physical body stays here. Mm -hmm. That's the energy that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You have no energy. You're no longer part of life in the physical. You read? Yes. So it's that energy. We have seven chakras, starting with our root chakra by our groin, going all the way up to our crown chakra. We have different energies that flow through those chakras. Those energies are what are controlling our life. But everybody gets stuck focusing on the physical. I need the new car. I want this. I want the relationship. I, it's, it's all about meeting our needs and desires and the physical. And this is where people go wayward. Now, this is a little strange when people first hear it. But I guarantee you that when anyone works with me and understands this, and they get aligned and understand their energy, their life changes so fast, they're living their purpose, they have control of their life, and they can create anything that they desire because they've really connected to their authentic power, understanding mm -hmm. who they are. Is this making sense? I, yes. I, I, know, I know I'm taking you down a different road. I know this is something... Uh, you know, as I do these interviews, people are like, wow, this is like trippy. It's so different. But I'll guarantee you, <laughs> your energy is what's attractive 
to other people. There's a saying, I don't know if you're familiar with this, people will never remember what you said, but they will always remember how you made them feel. Mm. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, yeah, I think that's from Maya Angelou, I believe, I'm not sure. So let's look at that. They're going to remember how you made them feel because that's the authentic part of life. What we say comes from our minds, but our mind can only operate in our physical world. It's our heart that operates in the non-physical world. What questions do you have? I can keep going. So, but I just want to see yeah. if you have any questions. Uh, actually, I'm just trying to, um, to to see how we'll get to the point of connecting um, our energy, um, being connected to our, ourselves, our divine being, and how that helps us to find and to live our life purpose. So I'll just listen attentively to how you bring all of that together to that point. Well, my, the book I wrote, The Seven Levels of Truth, mm -hmm. which is available on Amazon, The Seven Levels of Truth, A Direct Path to Your Life Purpose, goes into this. The first thing you have to understand is that we live in a physical and a non-physical. We're having two experiences. One is in the physical. The one that's in the physical is seen with our minds. But our mind can only access our past experience. Our minds are very limited. The boundaries in our minds of our ignorance are so narrow, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But our mind and our ego teaches us to protect ourselves always in the physical, to defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. This is the nature of ego and the nature of our mind. Our heart only speaks of love, and love needs no defense. With love, the more you give, the more you get. So it's understanding, am I looking at this from a place of fear and protection, or am I coming at it from a place of love? And that is what's going to lead you coming at things from a place of love. That will lead you to your life purpose. Yeah. Living in your physical life, protecting yourself will only lead to suffering and misery. Hmm. No matter so what. Is, yeah. That means we have to be connected to our spiritual self, not just what we see in the physical, but also to the spiritual realm and, you know, bringing both parts together in order to know what our energy is trying to tell us and understanding that, understanding exactly. what we are, helps us fulfill our life purpose. Exactly. Now, mm -hmm. when you're in the physical in your mind, your mind is being controlled, stimulated and manipulated by other people and what they say, hmm. okay? But when you come from your heart and you look at it from a place of love and you disconnect from defending yourself, you disconnect from being defensive, hmm. from being in fear. There's only two emotions, love and fear. Yeah. Fear can only be, you can only get fear in your physical life. You cannot create fear in your non-physical life. It is not possible. Hmm. It's impossible in your non-physical. Okay. Okay. You, you can't create love in your physical life. It isn't possible. You can have the concept in your mind, oh, I love that, but that's not love. Those are words. Hmm. You can only access love from your heart and by sharing that energy of love, the energy of giving, of acceptance. That's true love. So the more you get connected to the love, the more you'll get disconnected from the stories that keep you trapped in the physical. 
okay? Mm-hmm. And the more you open yourself to love, it's a vibration. Everything in the universe, everything in the universe is a vibration. This is scientifically proven. Everything's a vibration. When you're yeah. focused and vibrate, vibrating from a place of love, you're opening your access to the infinite wisdom that comes with the universe. You're not living in a lockdown of what physical life is like. Mm. Physical life is about limitation, suffering, and hard work. Where in a non-physical, we're all powerful. We have phenomenal potential. We have phenomenal information available to us. This information that comes to us when we're in a place of love, that's called intuition. Hmm. That's how intuition works. You can access universal wisdom where you just know you know. Why do you know? You don't know, but you know you know. It isn't <laughs> it isn't like, oh, I learned this and I I'm right. It isn't that at all. It's like, like I know everything in the universe is a vibration. If everything in the universe is a vibration, my life purpose is going to depend upon the vibration I'm operating. It's real simple. When I'm in the physical, protecting myself, in survival, competing to make money, trying to beat Toby out with his podcast, I'm going to do one that's better, and I'm going to, you know, all that competition. Mm -hmm. that's not a vibration that's expansive. It's a very narrow vibration that blocks everything else. Mm -hmm. But when I come from love and go, wow, this is great to be on this podcast with Toby to share what I know. We have so much in common. And we both hope that somebody hears something that's going to change their life. We're Mm -hmm. moving into a broader expansion of a vibration for the benefit of all involved. Mm -hmm. That's how you live your purpose. Yeah, yeah. I believe that's it. That's like a, a basic um, purpose for us all. We are out on this planet to radiate that love, to live in a vibration of love, yeah. and you know, give love to other people, receive love, and then you know, converse in love and do everything that we have to do out of love. I would say. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now here, here here's something else that's interesting. Hmm. When you when you're working with your vibration, when you're working with your purpose, you're coming from a place of love. You cannot describe to me what love looks like. No. You can't describe it. Mm-mm. Why can't you describe it? Because love is about who you're being. And when you're coming from a place of love, what manifests in front of you in the physical is what that love looks like in the moment. Hmm. It could be a wedding. It could be a funeral. It could be with a brother, a sister. It could be with friends. It could be seeing children play and you're radiating. It it could be so many different things. So our purpose isn't what we're doing. It's who we're being. So when you look at how do I live my purpose, I teach people specifically how to do it. And I guarantee that they will get it, guaranteed. In fact, if anybody has an interest, they, they can go to speak to Bill, speak to Bill.com and get on my mm-hmm. calendar to do a free mm-hmm. assessment. Mm-hmm. It's all about who you're being, not what you're doing. When we talk about purpose, you have to talk about gratitude. What does gratitude look like? Mm-hmm. Being grateful, being appreciative. <laughs> How did you describe it? Uh, you, you said it. It's being mm. grateful, mm. being mm. A, appreciative, not doing. Yeah. Do you see the difference? Mm-hmm. What about abundance? What does abundance look like? 
Oh, abundance is, is a state of plenty. Living in a state it's of plenty. It's a state of being. A state of being, yeah, yeah. Do you see how that's connected to the expansiveness of mm. love, the expansiveness of gratitude? I can go on. There's many, many words that we have in our dictionary that don't speak to the physical. They speak to the non-physical. They, mm. they speak to the state of being rather than the state of doing. Mm -hmm. It's oh, not yeah. what you're doing. It's who, it's who you're being while you're doing it. Mm. Yes, it's about who we are. Yeah, who we are when, when doing something. It, That's our purpose. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's yeah. ultimately the energy that you breathe. Mm. That's your life purpose. It's the yeah. energy that you breathe. Okay. You breathe. See, yes. anybody, anybody could come on this show right now. You could bring as many people on and put them in front of me and just that just are completely disagree with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And want to argue with me about it. You will see my energy change. It'll go to a greater state of love because I have nothing to defend. <laughs> These are knowings. This is truth. If yeah. you have thoughts and beliefs that are against what I'm saying, great. But one thing I'll guarantee you, you're suffering much more than I am. Because when you're stuck in the physical, that's all you can get out of your physical life. It's, it's limitation. It's suffering. It's lack of clarity. It's hard mm. work. The other thing that's fascinating is fear and love. Well, there's a saying, fear knocked on the door and love answered, mm -hmm. but no one was there <laughs> because fear and love cannot coexist. True. They can't coexist. And you cannot create fear in the present moment. It's impossible. It's impossible for you to create fear right now. In order to create fear, you must go to your past. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Do you see that? Mm hmm Yeah, I do. You have to bring one of those stories in. You have to bring something in. But when you're mm. present, you can create fear. Mm. So we always have to stay in the presence. Yeah, stay in the presence. Be, be, be present. present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Bill, I've learned so much from you and, from this conversation already. Like a new concept in different way to look at how to find our life purpose. You, you, you go through the energetic path towards success, basically towards you know finding life purpose. And um, that's, that's something that's very informative. That's eye-opening. Yeah. Uh, you have to follow that path. Mm. Now, <clears throat> I have many, like I could talk for hours on this right now and take mm -hmm. you further and further down past that. It'll just blow your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Literally mm -hmm. blow your mind. Literally blow your mind. Your mind can only be in the physical. But... This is what I do in my different coaching programs. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, yeah. everybody's familiar with coaches, okay? Yeah, okay. yeah. I have a coaching program, okay? I have no contract. I have a 90 day minimum. That's how long it takes for you to learn anything from me is 90 days. After that, you do what you want, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I don't tie people down, make them sign one year contracts, any, any, none of that. That's all fear-based. Mm -hmm. If you come to me and you start working with me and you start learning and your life is expanding and you're growing and what I'm saying is true, you know what happens? What happens? You stay. <laughs> you stay with me because mm -hmm. I'm teaching you more. So mm -hmm. this is why many of my clients, I have a client that just left me, that was with me eight years. 
We met every week for eight years. I have four clients right now that have been with me more than five years. Mm. Why would they stay with me that long? Because every week we expand, their business is growing, their life is, because in the non-physical, there's no limitation. You can just, you can, it can be as big and as bodacious as you want. It can't be in the physical. The physical is all about struggle. Mm. So it's just mm. the opposite when, when, of, of what people normally do where they're, oh yeah, I'm going to have them sign a contract. It's going to be this much. It's a year. It's like, no, just 90 days. And my objective is to get rid of clients because when I get rid of a client, that means you've learned enough to go out and live this on your own, which means you're out changing other people's lives. Because when you learn what I teach, you learn that we're here to be of service to others for the benefit of all involved from a place of love. That's yeah. our purpose on earth. Yes. That's our yes. purpose. That's beautiful. Right? I must place the link to your to your website in the show notes of this episode. So anyone who's interested in this um, coaching program could just click on the link, copy the link, and reach out to yeah. you in order to find you know the tools, the required um, steps in order to find your life purpose or to go it's, through that energetic path to success. And it's and it's fast. All they have to do is go to speak to Bill, speak to Bill dot com. Speak to Bill dot com. What the work I do. Like people's lives change extremely fast when they work with me. I can change anybody's life in 60 minutes. Okay. I've just changed yeah. your life. Would you mm -hmm. agree? Yeah, sure. Yes. I mean, you, yeah. you, you, you just learned something that gives you a whole new way to look at life. Of course. Of and course. it feels true, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You don't think it's true. You can feel it. Mm. That's the difference. Yeah. Yes. And Bill, um, just to summarize it all to um, for for the listeners out there, um, what is one thing that could you know that you could say basically that could help us to stop surviving and to start thriving? <laughs> just to summarize it all up. Um. There's only two emotions. Mm. There's fear and love. Yes. So stop being defensive. When you're defensive, <clears throat> you're protecting your stories. Mm. You're defending a belief. You're defending something that you believe. So you're putting up an argument. I have nothing to defend. I'm just here to share love with people. You get to be you. You get to have whatever your belief is, it's cool with me. Because I don't live your life. Mm. I don't need to agree with what you believe. I happen to know what's true. There's no question in my, no question in my being what I teach is 100% true. Mm. I'm not here to defend it. I'm just here to share it. Mm -hmm. So the minute you're defensive, you're protecting something in the physical, and when you're protecting something in the physical, you're creating suffering for yourself. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once we ask, once we start defending ourselves, then yeah, then we are on the wrong path. <laughs> that's yes. That's fear. Mm, that's fear. Defensiveness mm -hmm. comes from fear. Mm, and you mm. can only create fear in your physical life. And if you're living in fear, then you're suffering. Then you don't mm. feel good. True. So remove fear, remove anything that could make you de defensive, and then you start thriving in life. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Got that. Got that. Got that. Thank you so much, Bill. I, I really appreciate it. It was so wonderful learning these new concepts, new ways to look at life purpose, finding a life purpose, finding happiness, and you know, how we could start thriving and stop surviving. I really appreciate this short, but really deep conversation I've had with you. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Thank you very much for having me today. <laughs>